What's up you guys, Avery here, wanting to bring you guys an updated Trickstar deck profile for the September 18th, 2017 ban list. Obviously, um, not much is going to have changed from my regional top, and obviously this could change in the next couple of months, along with the, or because of the fact that we are getting a new ban list in November. So be sure to stick around for that. I might sell this deck just because of the fact that people are speculating that Reincarnation and Terraforming will get hit. But until then, I'm still going to hold on to this deck because this deck is very, very good right now. Just because of the fact that you can cheese the living hell out of your opponent. And because of the fact that pretty much all the other competition is just non-existent, i.e. Zoo and True Draco, this deck can really shine that. And we got three Honest, and so... I really want to cheese people with Triple Honest and Triple Jurigato, but I don't know how to fit in Triple Jurigato in here because I feel like playing 3 Honest and 3 Jurigato would just be the best cheese of all time. But anyway, let's just go ahead and dive into it. So we are playing at 3 Trickstar Candina. This is your Stratos of the deck. If you're not playing 3, I don't know what you're doing. You also need to be playing 3 Lycoris. Um, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here when I say this, but I feel like I am pretty much an expert on this deck. I feel like that I know the best optimal numbers of Trick Stars to play, at least in my particular build. After all, this is the build that I, I topped with, and this is the build I per personally feel most comfortable with. Obviously, ratios are going to change if you're playing like the Wind Witch engine. Like, you're obviously not going to go as hard with the Trick Star engine. You're pretty much just going to play like, what is it, three Candina, three Lycoris, and three Reincarnation, if that. And then, of course, you play the Droll and Lock Birds for the Lock. So, I, I've talked about these cards in my regional top video that I did about a month ago, so in case you haven't seen that, definitely go and see it, because I go more in-depth with these cards uh, and discussing plays and whatnot. Uh, and Lily Bells once per turn, don't make the mistake I did. <laughs> so, yeah, Lycoris, really good card, um, you need to play three of it. We are also playing one Lily Bell. Um, there is another Trickstar coming out, it's called Trickstar Narceus, and it's pretty much like a Lily Bell, but what it does is whenever a an opponent's card effect activates in the graveyard, you can special summon it, and then every single time, or you can special summon it from your hand, then every single time your opponent activates a monster effect, I think it's just a blanket whenever they activate a monster effect, they take 200 damage. It's actually not bad, I think it's more of a side deck card, or if you don't want to play Lily Bell, then you can play this instead, but I still think Lily Bell is a very, very good card. It's fine at one. You don't need any more than that. So that's it for the Trick Stars. Onto the Hand Traps. We're still playing one Max C. Um, I took out a Ghost Ogre. I was originally playing two Ghost Ogre in this build, and I'm tempted to take out Max C for the third Honest. I took out a Ghost Ogre for the third Honest, so I'm side decking it right now, but I feel like I would I need to just side out the Max C because I feel like it's not going to be as prevalent um, in today's matchups. You know, with Zoo and True Drake are pretty much being dead. I feel like that this isn't going to see as much play just because of the fact that right now a lot of the top decks until Spirals get their double helix crap, I don't feel like Max C is going to be all that good. So I'm tempted to take this out and put it in the side deck and throw back in the Ghost Ogre and then keep the three on us. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, and then we are playing one Ghost Ogre. Like I said, I took it out. I'm tempted to bump it back up to two. Um, I'm playing two Ghost Dash. Um, I bought two for the regional, and I've had them ever since. Uh, you need these if you want to be competitive. You need these. I'm not going to be going to any more regionals as I already have my invite, but it's still good to have these. Then we are playing, of course, the three troll and lock birds. See what I did there? And then we're playing three honest. I don't have a third honest. I sold so much of my collection. I don't have a third honest. Hashtag feels bad, man. And I didn't realize that they changed Connect Soldier's name to Cypher Soldier. So, little fun fact there for you. They want to make this a cyber monster or something. I don't know. But, yeah, three honest, so good. So, so, so good. The fact that I can go, like, Candina, Swing, Honest, 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 Bounce, Lycoris, Swing. I mean, that that's game right there. Or I can just go Lily Bell, Attack Directly, Bounce, Lycoris, Attack Your Monster, Triple Honest game. It's just, it's, it's great. It's amazing. Um, then for the spells, we are, of course, playing the three light stage. Uh, it searches any monster, and it's Zing Zing who's back row, so I don't know why you wouldn't want to play it. Three Terraform, because it didn't get hit on the ban list. And we are still playing three Chain Summoning. Um, if you watched my regional deck profile, then you will know that these got sided out um, for pretty much just uh, spot removal in the form of Double Dark Hole and Raigeki. Now that Dark Hole's at one, I kind of had to adjust the side deck a little bit, which I will go over. But these pretty much got sided out in like the games two and or three, just depending on how the matchup went. But these are still very good. All you, uh, to get this off, all you really need to do is just open it, 
and like let's just say a basic example would be this Candina and Lycoris and then you're gonna go off and just get a bunch of pluses or any combination of those three really. We're only playing two duality. Um, I've seen some builds still play Desires and I think Dem or not Demise. I think Desires is trash in this deck. It's kind of the same concept as playing Desires in Chamber. You know, you're banishing too many resources just to get you know a plus one. Um, I understand that you know from Simo's uh, point of view that you weren't going to draw into those outs anyway or draw into those cards anyway because they were ten cards in to your deck. However. Uh, you need all the resources that you can get. You know, who's to say I'm not going to banish a trick star that I need to search for, or whatever the case may be. So Desires is good in the OTK version where you're just playing Darkroom and Nightmare, but I don't really like that build. And then we're playing Double MST. This is because I didn't have Cosmic Cyclones. If you have Cosmic Cyclones, you can play these, but these work exactly the same. And then we are playing One Warning and Double Strike, uh, standard. Ring of Destruction, it's more burn. One Storming and Double Blazing because I don't have a third Blazing, and it's just kind of fun to mess with the opponent. They see a blazing and then they go to attack again. You hit them with a storming and then they flip all their cards face down. And you're like, no, it's not quaking, buddy. Bounce your link monster. And they're like, oh, okay. And then we've got three of this card needs to be banned. <laughs> three reincarnation. I'm so glad that they didn't hit this card. This card is my baby. Like, next to self destruct button and barrel from the different dimension, this card is my baby. Until I get self destruct button back, Trickstar reincarnation is just my new waifu. <laughs> And for y'all who are veteran subscribers from like when I first started Yugi tubing like six or seven years ago, uh, you will know why I really like Barrel from the Different Dimension. But that's more because of the Burial Dad deck that I played a long ass time ago, which I'm very glad that Barrel from the Different Dimension came back to two. Now it just needs to come back to three and I can actually kind of play that deck. Alright, so let's gonna go ahead and go on to the side and extra deck. We are still playing two Thunder King. These never get sided, but we need a 15 card side deck, so there's that. Two Ghost Ogres. Um, you can edit this side deck how you want, really. Um, so, yeah. Then we got the one red deck because it's good. One dark hole because it went to one. Um, I ended up throwing in a third twin twister just because of the fact I really don't know what else to throw in. Like, I don't want to take out two twin twisters just to side deck two anti spells for the pendulum matchup if I ever run into it at locals or whatever. Because I like to side deck as if, as if I'm side decking for a regional. Um, most of the locals in my area are very hyper competitive, so I just side deck as if I'm going to be, you know, going into a regional or YCS, whatever the case may be. And I just feel like the anti spell will cover more ground than Twin Twister. However, like I said, I don't want to take out two Twin Twister because I'm not going to play one anti spell. That's just asking for inconsistency. And then we're playing three scapegoat because we like to make topologic bomber dragon or firewall. Never comes up, but we have it just in case. And three present card. Um, as you can clearly see, I have not adjusted the side deck really since the regional. I haven't really adjusted this deck at all since the regional because it really, it's just been working out that well. Um, I never side deck the present cards at the regional, um, and I still don't side them now. So what I'm tempted to do, actually now that I think about it, because this literally just popped into my head, taking out two present cards and putting in two anti-spells, and then even maybe taking out the third present card because we're not just going to play one and I'll throw in like... I don't know, something else, or maybe throw in Narceus once we get that. So, there's the side deck. And, of course, you got to have your three beautiful YCS tokens and the beautiful UD token. Uh, then, extra deck really hasn't changed. We're playing one Firewall, one Tropical, <laughs> uh, one Holly Angel, and then one Proxy Dragon, because we only have one. One Dakota Talker. Or, I'm sorry, two Deku Talkers. What am I saying? Black Rose, Omega, Trish, because we play tuners in the form of hand traps. Tsukiyomi, Gagaka Samurai, Castell, Giant Hand, Cowboy for game, and Abyss Dweller. We really don't use the extra deck all that much. The only thing I really use out of this extra deck, quite honestly, is just Holly Angel, because Holly Angel is one of the easiest monsters to summon this extra deck. Like, you know, if you end up going off. And you're able to get, like, you know, let's say that you do the chain summoning combo, and you're able to pop off and make, like, triple Lycoris and a Candina. And if you're really in, have a good hand, having a Lily Bill on the board with that, um, I was, that actually came up because I was playtesting a hand the other day, and I link summoned with Lily Bell and Lycoris for Holly Angel, and I put it in uh, this extra monster zone. Um, which for me it would be pointing uh, here and here 
and I went reincarnation, banished, get out Lycoris, and I had a light stage on board, so I was able to do 400 points of damage, and Holly Angel went up to 22, and it's a light, so it's a good honest target, and the monsters that it, I always forget what it does, the monsters that it points to, uh, Trickstar monsters that it points to, can't be destroyed by battle by card effects, and, uh, yeah, just Trickstar monsters that it points to cannot be destroyed by battle by card effects. So two of them can't be destroyed by battle by card effects, which is nice. Um, I wish that it was just blanket. All your Trickstars can't be targeted destroyed by card effects. I feel that'd be a little bit too busted. But this card is still still very very good. I wouldn't up it to two or three because, like I said, you really don't use the extra deck all that much. So I think it's just having one in here for those situations when they do come up, which is hardly ever, um, is good. And it's good just to have an extra deck in general. You don't ever want to go into an event without an extra deck. So anyways, you guys, that has been my Trickstar deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, you know, this build is still very standard. You just uh, you get Reincarnation and draw a lot burn, and you go, go, go. And if you can't do that, then you just burn them, and you go, go, go. And if you can't do that, then you OTK them. <laughs> so that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to smash the like button. I will be having a Chamber deck profile up um, probably tomorrow. Uh, since I'm going to be uploading this today. Um, so if you guys are excited for that, please be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Let me know how I can adjust this build to make it better, if at all. And I thank you guys for watching, and subscribe if you have not already. Be sure to turn on those notifications so that you are notified of every single video that I upload, and YouTube can be a notification bay of the day.